you beautiful people out there, what's going on? This is your friend Break. Coming at you fast with a vlog. Um, hopefully you guys saw my uh, Call of Duty video, my latest one, talking about how much. Uh, well, you should get. You guys should just see the video. It's. Uh, I think it's a pretty funny video, and it's a very true video. It's a very very true video as well. Uh, so make sure you guys do check that out. But what I'm going to be talking about today, guys, is. Uh, Something that I was thinking about for a while now, uh, I've been on YouTube here quite uh, quite often, checking my videos and stuff like that, and I've been seeing lots of comments about MLG and uh, competitive play and pro players and stuff like that, and you know, that kind of, I kind of had this thought for a while, and I just wanted to make it clear with you guys what I'm thinking about and um, what actually is going on, so uh, what I'm talking about is... Uh, as a YouTuber, people like to question your skill level. They like to think themselves as being better than you, or unless they're really that low, you know that um, if they if they know that they're they feel like they're not good, then they don't question it. But a lot of people that might be close to the skill level of the YouTuber might question if they're actually good at the game. And so I just wanted to talk about a little bit about um, how I view my skill level on an honest opinion, unbiased opinion, at least trying to be as unbiased as possible. Because, uh, quite frankly, I try to be as modest as possible when it comes to this kind of stuff, you know. I uh, If I ever get tweets on Twitter talking about how people could beat me any day of the week or they could 1v1 me and smoke me or whatever, I I don't doubt any of it because I don't know who they are and I don't know how good they are so you know I always give give that open mind that yeah there could be people that are better than me there are a lot of people that are better than me and I am downright ready to admit that I have played a lot of GBs throughout my life and I've seen so many people that are just on a completely different level that I will ever reach and that's just because they're just naturally good at the game and they're just grind away, whereas I don't really put in as much time as the other people do, even though I already do put in a lot of time already. So I, I, liked, I like to think of it in a three-tier kind of uh, pyramid kind of scheme. So the bottom is the people who are just play casually, right? There's the, the casual players. Um, these can include YouTubers. They, these can include people who don't do YouTube live streamers, whatever, this could be anybody, just people who play casually, they don't play competitive. Then there's the people who play competitive, game battles, uh, UMG, MLG, stuff like that, right? Uh, they play a lot of online stuff, a lot of online stuff, tournaments, whatever. And then there's the pros, who you see on MLG.TV, compete in these big tournaments for cash prizes and everything, okay? So I, I like to view it as three, as three tiers right there, and obviously you can view it as more, you can view it like... Casual players, pub stompers, AMs, top AMs, pros, whatever you want to view it as, there's still that system. And I personally view myself as, actually, I view myself as on the bottom half of the competitive side. Really. Uh, truthfully. I feel like I am in the competitive range. Like, I can compete with people in that range. Uh, but I just don't have the commitment or the, don't feel that, um, the grinding effort is necessary for that. I'm just not as committed as other people are. And, you know, people, people have different ways of gauging it. People have like non-YouTubers, YouTubers, and pros. And I'm just like, well, there's different kinds of YouTubers, you know, there's a difference between KYR, Speedy, and T. Martin, right? For instance, when you're talking about pure gun skill and Call of Duty knowledge. So you can't really put YouTubers in their own subclass. Uh, do I think I can beat some YouTubers? I don't know. It depends. Um, like, if I, like, while watching T. Martin, you know, maybe in public match, under public match rules, he could beat me, for sure. I mean, he's a, he's a talented player. But in competitive, we might be equal. Who knows? Like, I don't know. I don't know until I play him. Which hasn't happened yet, unfortunately, but I, I hope it happens sometime soon. But um, yeah, I mean, it's all it's all personal opinion. But 
the matter of the fact is that if people like to say that they're better than me, by all means, go ahead and do it. Because quite frankly, I'm not going to care. You do you, and I'll do me. I'm not going to care how good you are, how many tournaments you win, how many gold medals you've achieved. I'm just going to keep doing me. And quite frankly, am I ever going to become a pro? No, I'm not. I don't have that raw talent that other people do. I don't have that dedication that other people have. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to take classes. I'm going to get a degree, and I'm going to have a job. I'm not going to drop out of school and try to pursue this because I know that I have a very small chance compared to others to do it. But will I continue YouTubing? Yes, because as a YouTuber, you don't have that big of a stress to perform as you do as a professional player who does it for money, and he puts money on the line for it. YouTube is not as much of an investment as professional gaming. It's not. You would, you would put money into recording equipment, you would put money into the games and consoles that you're going to record from, and that's about it. You don't have to pay for plane tickets to go anywhere, you don't have to pay for hotel rooms, you don't have to, uh, I don't know, I mean, you don't have to get a scuff controller if you're a YouTuber. I mean, you might want to, who knows, I have one, I think it helps, but again, you know, I'm, on a, I'm a competitive YouTuber, whereas people like, I mean, even T. Martin, I see, like, his videos, he's trying to approach game battles, and I'm sure he plays game battles a lot, but he's focused more around public match, and so, you know, there's that difference between public match and competitive, but that's a whole other story. All I'm saying, guys, is that I don't expect to be pro, because I'm not going to have, I'm simply just not going to have enough time to focus on that. Will I have enough time to focus on YouTube? Of course. I love playing video games. I'm going to continue playing video games. I'm not going to be weighed down to play just Call of Duty. That's one, another thing why I don't want to become pro. Because I'm going to have to spend most of my days playing the game that I become professional at. Right? If Whether you're Halo Pro, COD Pro, whatever. You have to love that game so much that you play it for at least 8 hours a day every single day. Which, I like being diverse. I like playing diverse games. Right, I like playing Call of Duty, but I also like playing The Last of Us. I also like playing Far Cry. I also like playing Assassin's Creed. You know, and if I become a professional, I'm not going to have enough time to do all that. And that's what I want to do. And as a YouTuber, I can play all those games and entertain you guys through playing all those games. So it's a win-win-win. Which is why I'm just stating this right now that I don't plan on going anywhere, guys. Ten days from now... Well, I'm not sure if I can say that. I might get in trouble. Let's just say I'm staying here for a while. Staying here for a while. So, get comfortable. If you have any hate, feel free to say it. It won't affect me. And enjoy my videos, basically. If you don't want to enjoy my videos, if you don't like the fact that I'm going to be a YouTuber and the fact that I'm going to enjoy this as a hobby and not be professional... Uh, and do like pro gaming as like a major thing then whatever but YouTubing is something I love doing it's a, a, a passion I just love doing it I plan on doing it for a long time I plan on staying here for a long time and I don't plan on going anywhere higher or anywhere lower thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day